Ah, tem lá a pulgrinha? Ah, mal, hein? Mal nem sei aqui. <risos> And I said, Lydia, Raquel, uh, knock that y'all look alike. Like, I mean, you can, you know, I can <laughs> yeah, very similar. Yes. Glasses, yes. Uh huh. Itasahu, cousins. Itasahu, cousins. Got to be Itasahu. That means other sis. Ita is like a sis, same sex sibling, like sister, but Itasahu is like other sister. So it means it's a cousin. Yeah. Itasahu. That's what I call Brenda, Brenda, and Dornay. They're all itas, you know, itasahu, my uh, cousins. So we're going to start with the Yoluyana. And uh, then I said the Yanalipini, the dialogue in Kanaka Luchin Gras Kichu. What is it in English? And a little bit of practice. And then um, so we can advance. We have two more sections to chapter one. Then we're going to move on to chapter two. But Hayesh, what's her name? Kanak Titisa. I think we'll just go ahead and start, Ryan. Is that okay? Or want to wait a minute? Sound good? Okay. Lapu, huh? Okay. So let's see. Um, Rohina Po An. Tokuch. Rohina Po An. Uh, Lydia, can you read the first column of the Yoluyana? Rohina Po means the letters to see the letter, to see the right, uh, like look at the writing and look at the writing is to read. Okay, to look at the writing, Rohina Po. And that means to read. Okay, Sakuta okay. first. Aha, Apo Itin. Oh. Inti? Oh, that one is wrong. It's supposed to be our friends. If you make a note in your notebook that auntie means our yep. friends, yep. our friends, because it's E-N-T-I, yes. yeah. Okay. Auntie. I'll get it later. And we noted that friends. for the uh, book editor too. Yes, okay. we sent it, because that's why I said our book isn't published yet. We're still doing editing somewhat. And then, okay. Hon. Hon. Uh -huh. And then Otisa. Hon. And you only want me to read the first one? Yes, we're going to share it. So Raquel, uh -huh, Raquel, Ilita, the second column. Ilita, second, second column. Hey, Tisa. Tichet. Oh, Lapu. Uwet. Hmm. Wen, Tisa. Winimat. Oh, so they're going to show you how to not only singular he and she, uh, her name, his name, but also your names, and it's masculine, dual, or plural, but it's also mixed group. It could be mixed group for the Wintisa. Do you see that? Do you want to make a little note of that? It could be mixed group, meaning one male and the rest could be females, and it could be mixed group, as we do in French and Spanish. It's, it's like that too. So now go down. Was that for? Winnie Matt, or is it Win Wintisa? And Winnie Matt too, and Winnie Matt too, yeah. Wintisa and Winnie Matt, because if it's plural masculine, it will be also mixed group for both of those. Uh huh. You can have um, you two could be a girl and a guy on y'all's part, okay? Um, so, yes. Home. Oh. So we have the dialogue and I'm gonna go ahead and pronounce, you know, pronounce everything, go through it, and then I'll have y'all uh, take turns to see, you know, so okay. So Marlin who and uh he says, Chris Kanak Titisa. Chris says, Ayana Chi Titisa. Merlin who says, Ayana Chi Titisa Lapu. Chris says. Don't we want them to read it, Ms. Donna? Huh? Yeah, I'm going to read it first and then let them read it. But we can, they, I think they're good. I think their pronunciation is pretty good. So I'll let them do it. Okay, um, you want to say who who's going to play what part, even though it's, uh, we want to alternate. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, we're not going to have lines. Let's say, so the first one could be, and Molly's there too. So we have first one would be Lydia and then 
The second line will be Raquel, then the third is Molly, and then the fourth will be, I said, okay, Lydia, Raquel, Molly, then Lydia, the fourth line, and then the fifth line will be uh, Raquel. And then the sixth line will be Molly, and the seventh line will go back to Lydia. So we'll take turns reading like that. I have the first and the fourth. Yes, the first and the fourth and the seventh. And the last one. Yes, home. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're just reading now, and then we're going to figure out what yeah. it means. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chris, Kanku Tetisa. Uh huh. And then uh, Raquel. Ayana Oh, and then Mali. Ayana Chi Tetisan, Lapu. Then uh, Lydia. Lapu. And Raquel. Back to Raquel. Ayana Hetisan. And that's going to be a question. So you want to go up. Huh? Ayana Hetisan, you can go up. Okay, when you say it. No, you go up when you have a question, you can do that. Like your voice raises. And then Ayana Hetisan. Oh, Lapu. And then uh, Mali. Oh, Ayana Hetisa. Mahat. Merlin Hetisa. Merlin Hetisa. Okay, does everyone have their chapter one that I sent you? You have your paper copy there. So you could refer, you need to refer back to uh, any other Yoluyanas. So take a few minutes and the exact ones that you had, Kanaka Luchi in Graskichu, what are the one in English? So Lydia again, one, Sok, Ili. Ili, uh, Raquel, two, you do it, you're translating two into English. Molly, three. Lydia four, Raquel five, Molly six, and Lydia seven. You'll translate those lines and then we'll go through it and see. If you have your paper copy of your chapter one, then you can refer back to any Yoluyana that we have, you know, the previous Yoluyanas we had. Or any notes? Oh, I didn't see you, Damon. Good, Lapu, Sara. Let's see. I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. I probably if I do this, I get the little this right here would show me who's here. Sometimes, no. Sarah, Damon. Okay, let's see. Okay. <laughs> I just saw you. So we'll pick up on the next thing. You will be the first person. Okay. Sakuta oni sakuta. First one. Sarah, I'm sorry. I think there was an update where. You can't see people if they have everything turned off. Oh. Like you can't even see their name. Oh, so now it's like that, the rule uh, for Zoom? I think so. Yes. I think so. Oh, OK. Oh. If the camera's off or something. Oh, OK. But you can see if you click on participants, there's like a list of people. Yeah, the participants is right here. Sure, yes. Here. So we have uh, myself. Elizabeth, Ryan, Damon, Lydia, and Melissa's here. She's here. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to go up. Yeah. I can't see anything at all except for the little, uh, like the the lesson. I can't see any people or any anything except the little lesson. Oh. Yeah, on your tablet, you won't see picture uh, other people's videos, Melissa. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I see. I still can't get the Zoom to work on the computer. Okay, and I'm, next time I'm going to add you too because I was waiting for you. And always remember your uh, email is solo weave. And so, yeah. Okay, so include you and Damon on the next set as first. We just went over the Yoluyana and then we're translating what this is in Luchin uh, Graskichu in English, this one. And we're still in chapter one. This is uh, the next section. And then we'll, uh, the last section will be next time, next uh, Thursday, Rapu Monk, Thursday. Yes, Rapu Monk means four sleeps after the big day, which was Sunday. So we're four sleeps. And other tribes do the same thing. They call it sleeps after you know, the 
main day. Da. He uh, chat box. Hichu hinake hiniki. So when you're finished, uh, write in the chat box da. I can see. Oh, right in how is DA spelled? D A? D A. D A. Uh huh. Uh huh. And I found out in Biloxi it's Edan. So it's with the E in front and then D A. Edan. D A N. Edan. So it's very close in Biloxi too. Da. Hum. Lapu. It's been a while since. So Da. Uh, you can put in the chat box and you know. Da Sha would be almost ready. S H A. Onto the Da. Da Sha. If you're almost ready. We have the word rapon, which rapon, which is near, close, da lapu, again. Okay. A few more minutes. We go over this. Okay, da, hotu, dan, everybody's ready? Okay, I think so. Lydia, can you translate the first line? Kanaka Luchin Graskichu. Chris, what is her name? Yeah, what is her name? Talking about someone else, right. You see three characters there. And then uh, Raquel. Her name is Ayana Ichi. Uh -huh. Yeah, Ayana, and the chi is a, that is a marker that you put on, it's a uh, gender marker, and you put it on the female name when you're talking about the person. So it would be Ayana. Uh, Ayana chi, you would say in Tunica like that, you add it when you're talking about the person. So if that's okay, Lapu. Three is Amale. Ayana Chi Tetisan Lapu means uh, her name is Ayana. Good. Okay, so that's a question. And I think last time I told y'all. Uh, well, I said it like a question, like her name is. Yeah, Ayana. that's good. Like yes. Uh huh, yeah. you did. Yeah, because your intonation yeah. was like intonation. That N on the end of a Titisa is an interrogative N. And when we have that kind of question, the answer will usually be yes or no. And so you're going to see it later on. That is, an, it's called an interrogative N. It signals a question. On the, if it's on the end of the verb, it signals a question. And she said it like that with the rising intonation. Lapu. Titisan? So on the first line where it says Kanak Titisa, so uh -huh. you don't need the N? No, because you said no, what's her Kanaku is already a question word. Yeah, so right. Yoluyana Ka. It's a question word. There's so much, it's packed. It's so packed of information. So Kanak is one of the question words and it means what? What? Uh-huh. Kanak. Yes. Uh-huh. Lapu. And you see that you see the difference. I'm glad that you see that. And you know, point that out. Lapu. So the next line, Chris School. I said that was one. Good. <laughs> good. Yeah, yours is just good. You were lucky. <laughs> lucky there. Kema is luck, like good luck. Merlin to Ayana Chi. Uh, that is Raquel. Ayana Hitisan means is your name Ayana? Lapu. Yes. And that's the feminine you, your name. Your name. That's what you use for feminine you. Second person. Singular, you, feminine, uh-huh, hitisan. And notice there, that question also has what at the end of the verb, what do you see there? Question, question mark. A question mark and the before end. you see. Yeah, the interrogative end, you see it? So it's gonna require an answer that either home or aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, like uh -huh. in your Yoluyana, do you see it? Home or aha? Home. So okay. is that is the N at the end of a word like a yes or no question? Yes, or that I... will signal. Uh-huh. That will signal okay. a yes or no answer. 
And that's all you have to answer when you get such a question. Okay. You know, uh, when you're learning, yes. Home, uh -huh. right. And so the next line, well, let's see. That will be uh, Mali, right? After Raquel, Mali. Oh, Ayana Etisa. Maha means uh, yes. My name is Ayana, and you? Yes, and it's you on your part, and it's the, is that feminine or masculine? She's asking Merlin. Uh, masculine, then. Masculine, right, masculine. You on your part, and it's the masculine. And we can say, uh huh. And the last one, Lydia. Uh, Merlin Atisa means my name is Merlin. Yes, hum lapu. Does anyone Hatika? Does anybody need to say these again? Go over them. Damon, how are you? Good. Lapu, good. Lapu na hum. Melissa, lapu lapu. Uh -huh. Lapu lapu. Lapu. Uh -huh. lapu. Uh huh. When I say lapu. That's the question. And the answer could be Lapu. Oh. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, Lapu. Good. So, okay, I think we can scroll now down to the next page. And I'm going to ask, and I hope everyone has their paper copy of chapter one at your side, because that's the part. Um, I said we have to send it in sections to you. We can't send the entire text because we're still. We're still at the printer, the publisher, and getting reviews and all of that. So yeah, I, I noticed oh, we, I we informed you of an edit. We already. Yeah, we had an edit. You saw the edit, huh? Does somebody have a question? Sorry. I did not get a chance to print my paper copy out. OK. Can, um, taking, can I look at taking, it for like two minutes, the yeah. translation okay. words, and I'll just. Yes, Yodiana. OK. okay. If needs to because you came a little later and Damon if anybody needs to take notes we'll go over those real quick uh-huh okay someone want to say them while uh if Damon and, and uh, Melissa need to uh update their notes who would like to say them uh, out loud practice Kaku, someone Kaku. the Yoliana um, chapter one uh -huh. yes uh-huh right here where we are right now the one the new one uh-huh uh-huh okay so they can hear them that Melissa and Damon came on a little bit later. You can go over with them, just say them so they can. Aha uh -huh means no. Apoitin. Apoitin. Apoitin means uh -huh. we, it's plural, we'll see each other. And T. Our I, friends. Our That's a mistake. Friend. Yeah. Our friends, a mistake. mistake. Our friends. Hon means yes. Otisa means his name is. Hey, Sam, go to the kitchen. Lydia, you want to do the other side? Yes, uh huh. Thank you more. Uh huh. You can do the rest more. Otisa means her name is. Um, Dijet, her on her part. Wet, he on his part. When Tisa, your uh. What does MD mean? Was that the masculine uh, dual? Uh, masculine dual or plural? Or plural. Names are and Winnimat. Uh your you two on y'all's part. You know what I'm seeing? That Uwet, if T Chet is her and on her part, then Uwet should be him on his part. I'm seeing that to be even more, you know, to so you can write in your notes. I just noticed that to be consistent, you know, and if you go to take classes, you know how consistency is. We want you to be consistent. Okay. So da or y'all, um, I can't see Demona and I see Melissa there. So are y'all ready to go to the next uh, Lipini then? Uh, yes, home. Yes, okay, Lapu, Lapu, home, Lapu, Damon, good. Okay, so we're gonna go down. Have you read it? You can scroll down, uh, Ryan. Are you ready? No. Okay. And first, we're gonna have you read. Um, Sorry, I'm working on the basket still from earlier. Oh, okay. I know sometimes we have we do that uh, too. Like it takes away stress, and you can do that if 
That's good, pretty good if you can do that too. <laughs> um, so the first line <coughs> will be Damon. The second line will be Melissa, <coughs> Sarah. The third line will be, so I said uh, <coughs> Damon, Melissa, <coughs> Sarah. The third line will be Lydia. Or the you know third line meaning the third group of a uh, little conversation. Mm -hmm. The next will be Raquel. Then uh, okay, Raquel did that, and then Molly. After Molly, it will be going to go back to uh, uh, Damon and Melissa to give them another chance to since uh, last time set up. <laughs> so I have how many? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, one, two, three, five, seven. Huh? Damon, Melissa, Lydia, Raquel, uh, Melissa, Damon. Oh, Molly, I mean, Ra Raquel, Molly, Damon, Melissa. Did I mix y'all up? I hope not. I don't want to confuse anyone. Damon and Melissa. Lydia, Raquel, Holly, Damon, Melissa. Oh. So I actually to read first. Rohina, po, let's see, Tokuch, Damon. Rohina, Poin, Tokuch. Read, please, the first line where Merlin is speaking. Penny, Eti, Eti, Wenima Lapun. Oh, okay. And then Melissa, the next line. Lapu Mahat. Oh. And then the next line, Lydia. Lapu Tikach. Kanaku Wetisa. Oh. And then after that, Raquel. Alice Itisa. Uwet Augustine Ochisa. Okay. And then. Um, after that, the next one I said that was Raquel. Molly. We need Ma Alice Albert Wentison. Okay, and then uh, Damon. Which line? I'm sorry. It's the second to last one in that uh, second dialogue. Aha, uh -huh, Merlin Etisa. And then the last one, and Melissa. Lapu. Apu. Eighteen. Oh, huh. so now Kanaka Luchin Graskichu. So, what are your lines that you read in English? And then we'll give you a few minutes, and then you write da uh, da chat box kichu hinake hinike. Write in the chat box when you're ready. I said again. First one was for Damon. Second for Melissa. The third one for Lydia. The fourth one for Raquel. The fifth one was Molly, Damon, the sixth one, and Melissa, the seventh one. Kanaka Luchi in Graskichu. And Da Chatbox Kichu, Hinake Hinike. So ready in the chat box, write it when you're ready. You know, that's what I said. Chat box kichu means kichu is in. And so we don't have a, we can make a word in Tunica for chat box, but I think right now we, pigeonization, we use some English there. Chat box kichu. Yeah, and right back, I gotta get my ducks in, it's getting dark. Oh, okay. Who <laughs> okay. No, cool. earlier and earlier. Yes, I know. I know. It seems like it's happening faster than it usually does. I know it's I just. Know. It was power, but Tira tapok. To me, it's like a big blanket. It like mm -hmm. a blanket comes over me, especially over here with more open space in a Boyle's parish. It's like <gasps> coming down the highway. You feel like oh, rapu. When I want to sleep, <laughs> I don't can't sleep now too much. I have plenty of work to do yet. Still, still, 
So da, Lydia's da, da, Lydia's ready, Lydia da, Lydia chi, da, because I'm talking about Lydia, see Lydia chi, da, demon, okay, demon ku, da, ui, da, he's ready, ui, da, uet, da, uh -huh. he on his part, demon, Raquel da, Raquel chi, da, tichi, tichet, Da, she on her part, she's ready. She da, okay. Give a few more minutes. And always try to have your paper copy handy. So we're still using the chapter one that I sent and I have to send it a special way because they always say the file is too large, but I will get it to you and I have to send individually. Yeah, I'll be able to print mine out after this class. I just didn't get a chance to do it okay. yet. Okay, it was so. Oh, I know. Our lives are so busy. We, oh, <laughs> everyone. Hotu. Hey, Hotu. Today, Hachi. Now, Hotu. So busy. Okay. Da, Dan. Hotu, Dan. Everybody's ready. So, the first one, Damon, can you say what does that mean? Hini, eti, wini, malapuna. Hello, friend. You all good? Uh huh. Yes. So the Winnie Ma, the Winnie Ma refers to either dual, and it's uh, mask. No, that's actually masculine, feminine. Because the uh, the girl, the one that's first, that oh, uh, there's the guy with the glasses. Then that's a girl with the jacket and the shorts. And then a guy. So, yes. And then because that's <clears throat> Alice and Augustin. You say Alice and then Augustin. Okay. So, and it's two people, Winima, Lapun. And then Alice and Augustin, that will be Melissa. What is that next line? Um, Good. And like, how are you? Or, and you? Or? Good and you. You good are and you. your. On your part, you want, yeah, and you, yeah, you on your part, and it is what masculine, masculine or singular, right? Is it mas yeah, masculine, masculine singular, oh, lapu, exactly, right, lapu, okay. And then after Melissa is Lydia. Um, good, thank you. What are your names? Uh huh. So let's see, and Wintisa. We go to Wintisa and Wintisa is, let's see. Oh, we're going to see it later, but that is Your actually name is plural, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, plural. It could also be dual. Uh -huh. It could be the dual mm -hmm. as well. And we'll see that. We'll see that coming up. There's a chart that's going to follow this. There's a Lutamashu that will sh you'll show you that as well. I have a question okay. real quick about this. Is it when uh -huh. Tisa, because there's one male, like, is it like in Spanish that one masculine? Yes, makes the that's whole what I said. Okay. That's what I used to say. I'd say like there was this all girls Catholic school and they had a base basketball game. And if one guy showed up in Spanish, it was what? Muchachos? It was, el <laughs> Elios. It was mixed group. One guy shows right. up to the all girl school basketball game. One guy, <laughs> it made it masculine. And the same, okay. in, yes, that's previously, huh? Lapu. So you have that to uh, associate. It's good. La verdad, it's true. Kashi, true. So now, the next thing, let's see. I, I <laughs> Raquel, yes, after Lydia, that next one. Alice Otisa. what? Augustine mm -hmm. Otisa. That means okay. my name is Alice. His name is Augustine. Yes. And he say he on his part. Okay. She's pointing out he or him, you know, him, he on his part is Augustine. Right. Because we have the wet. Okay. And that's good. Lapu. And after Raquel is Molly. Molly, the next one. Next line. We need my Alice Albert Wentison. Uh, means. And y'all, are your names Alice and Albert? 
Oh, Lapu, Lapu. And Merlin, let's see, Atamali is Damon. Aha, uh -huh. Merlin Etisa, which means no, Merlin is my name. Oh, Lapu. And then um, the last line is Melissa there. Uh, Lapu, Apo Itin. Um, okay, that's good. We'll see you again, or we'll see each other. Yeah, uh -huh. we'll see each like, other uh -huh. later. Yeah, yeah, and like in Spanish, nos vemos like that. Uh -huh. Apo Itin, because the po is to see, and it's like let's see each other, and the a is like together, like each other. The a in front of that po, po is to see. And then the eye in front of it is like each other. You're going to see each that. Y'all are older, so I can kind of break it down and tell you, you know, the ah, poetin. And it's like, uh, we will see each other or let's see each other. Okay. And, you know, if you learn, if you, or you speak Spanish, you're going to say, nos vemos. It's, it's, casi lo mismo. it's the same. Almost the is same. That, is that like, we'll, we'll see each other around or something like that? Or? Yeah, it can mean, yes, it could mean a variety. Things, huh? Apoitin, and that's more see than you later, me. alligator. Yeah, see you later, yeah. alligator. Right, we say that. See you later, alligator. Right, la verdad. That's oh my so god. So basically, see you later. <laughs> yeah, see you later. Uh huh. Uh, we see each other later, and you're gonna learn another. You have apoitin, you have apoinan, is person to person, but apoitin is like that whole group's gonna see each other. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So now, okay. So now let's see. So we have. Eight, Mishtikin, do we have more? Eight, we have eight lines, so we go. Seven, eight. Okay, so I'm gonna keep an order. Okay, so Damon will be, oh, we're gonna read first. Rohina Po, Rohina Po, let's read. It's gonna be Damon, has the first line, Melissa, the second line. The third line is Lydia. The fourth line is Raquel. The fifth line is Molly. The sixth line is Damon. Seventh line, Melissa. And eighth line, Lydia. I hope I count one. Okay. Home. You're going to see a puina there. Yes. So, Rohina, Rohina po, Tokuch. Rohina puina means read, uh, please, Damon, the first line. We're on the same dialogue, right? It's the second, it's on the next column. You see it? Okay. Yeah, it's continuation kind of. Etihima lapun. Etihima lapun, oh. Okay, and then Melissa. Lapun, to catch. And then after Melissa, Lydia. Ui eti krisku otisa. Okay, and then after Lydia, Raquel. Krisku otisa. After Raquel, Mali. Oh, Kanak hey, Tisa. Oh, and then Damon. Alice, hey, Tisa. Oh, and then uh, then uh, Melissa. Ko oh, Hita. I have oh. no idea how to say that first word. Oh, ko -oh. Ko -oh. actually, here in Louisiana, they have like um, French speakers go ko. -ko. Different like different parts further south. My my cousins say cool or co cool cool cool. It's a you know like a interjection like wow excellent you know cool whatever. Oh okay. And then after Melissa is Lydia. Um, apu yan apu yan. Apu inan. Yes, that inan. is the one for the two persons to see each other. The other one was the plural, when the whole group will see each other, and then the two person, I, I shouldn't be telling you supposed to translate. <laughs> okay, don't I have to watch, because when I, I being speaking different languages, that happened to me throughout my life, I can tell you, I just automatically, my brain works like that. So now the same ones you read, you cannot luchi in gras kichu, what are they in English? So Damon has one, Melissa two, Lydia three, Raquel four, Molly five, Damon six, Melissa seven, and Lydia eight, the eighth line. So those are the lines you will kanaka luchi ingras kichu. What language English, 
what is it, you know, in, in language, English language, yeah, Kichu, in, Luchi, language, Ingras, English, and Kanak, what? That's what I say, Kanak, Luchi, Ingras, Kichu. So take a few minutes, and then Da, Chadbox, Kichu, Hinaki, Hiniki, you write, Hinaki, you write, feminine, Hiniki, you write, masculine, it's an imperative, a command. You write Da in the chat box when you're ready. Da. Hina, mark, make your mark or write. Hinaki, Hiniki. And then um, Ryan will, is he, did he come back from his duck, taking his ducks in? You'll have to remind me. So. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Oh, you're yeah, here. Okay. Uh, we got so my, five minutes. Oh, we do. I set my clocks to. I set, set some of them ahead, only to be like uh, ahead of time when I go to different things. So my kitchen clock. Okay. So just let me know. Um, guess when we get like ten till because we'll do the uh, what you want to know in Tunica. We'll do that. Okay. Da. Who was that? Was first I saw mm -hmm. him across. I missed it. I don't okay. have a chat pack chat box on here so okay you can just tell us da when you're okay. ready yeah it's okay it's looking in my eye i am dasha oh. but i don't think dasha? I, uh -huh. yeah, Almost, I, I can't be da because i don't have a translation for my last part but it's two words so <laughs> i'm just telling you she can't so be doing da. that okay. yeah you're doing you're not te te you're not speaking spanglish you're te speaking Tuniclish, whatever. Yeah, Tuniclish. I guess. Yeah. Can't be down well, over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that is kind of like ya yeah in, in Espanol, in, in Hispanic. Mm -hmm. Spanish. Ya yeah and da is, uh, yeah, it's close. Ropon, cerca. Okay. I'm not going to confuse anybody. I have a tendency to do that. I don't want to confuse anybody. Okay. Da, hotu dan. Is everybody about ready? Okay, so oh. let's see. Okay, Damon, the first line. Eti hima lampun, which means, friend, you good? Yes, and what friend? What is a feminine or masculine friend? Mas feminine. Yes, feminine, the hema. Hema is you, feminine, that's correct. And the next line is Melissa. Uh, la pu te catch, good, thanks. Uh-huh, good, thank you. And then Merlin, oh, the next line, oh, sorry. Oh. Uh, Lydia. That's me, yeah, okay. Ui eti Chris ku otisa. My friend's name is Chris. Okay, he's okay. friend. His name is uh -huh, Ui Eti. He's friend. He's uh, my friend. So, uh -huh, he's my friend. Uh -huh, Chris. His name is Chris. Uh -huh. Yeah. So Ui Eti. Ui is he. And then Eti is friend. My friend. Okay. And then the next line is Lapu. Raquel. The next line. Hon. Kanak Hetisa. Uh huh. That means yes. What is your name to a female? Okay. Okay, and that is, uh, Hetisa is, uh, is that your name masculine or feminine there? Female. Uh-huh, feminine or female, right. Feminine. Your, yeah, your name or the, from you, second person, uh, singular, Hetisa, your name. And then after that is, uh, wait, I got confused. No, I lost my place. Ah, uh, wait. It was Raquel. <laughs> Molly, Sarah, Molly. I think I think mine is uh Hon Kanak Hitisa. Oh. Okay, so after uh, Raquel, I said Raquel, and then I said Molly. It, it says it says Krisku Otisa twice. Oh, it does. Oh, well, they just want to repeat. Yeah, I guess want yeah. to repeat. Yeah. Yeah. It's just repetitive. Yeah. Okay. And then after that, I said, uh, uh, Damon said what he did the line, right? Yeah, that's my um, line, Alice Itisa. Okay. And, and that means Itisa. my name is Alice. Right. And then, uh, um, mm -hmm. 
I have no idea what that says because I don't have cool. any translations. Cool, cool, a call, all, call, all, a cool, uh, like in Southern Louisiana and in the Boyle's oh, Parish. Okay. Speakers, I know Molly's heard people go call, call, like that. Even at charter, I they hear people. Kids. I, yeah, I hear people say cool whenever they yeah, say like, something go, like big or call. Something. It's not yeah, as like, a go. No, it's not. It's a. Uh, it's uh, an interjection, but it's all from the French, like I said, and they say variations of it. So it's like excellent or wow. Can I translate it? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes. I was just going to try. So ko -o yes. means great, and hita mm -hmm. means take care. Yeah, take care. Mm -hmm. So take care, Melissa. It's come like um, cuidate. In French, we say prends soin. I'm just going to say a little bit of that sometimes. So prosma or cuidate, cuidate in, in, in Spanish like that, cuidate hita. We don't say goodbye. We'll say other farewells like see you later or take care. Huh? That means take care lady, right? Oh no, it's take care for, for anybody. Hita. For anybody? Oh, okay. Yes. So anyone, it hita. Mine, mine to translate. I, I'm sorry. See y'all soon. Yeah, see you soon. And it is two persons there, apoinan. Yeah, I said see y'all soon. So more yeah. than one person. Yeah, here it's two persons. Apoinan and apoitin is the plural one. And apoinan well, is. Well, if if she's saying it to one person, I think she would say just see you soon. Yeah, and it'd be apoinan, and then there's only two of them. It's closed. Do you see that, Lydia? Apoitin in the other dialogue and apoinan, just between two, and then apoitin yeah. between. But we've y'all can be two people. Well, yeah. but she's talking to one person. Right. Yeah. She wouldn't Don't include herself with it. And oh, if you say it, yeah. but if you yeah. say it, we understand. That's the thing about Tunica. We try, we learn it. And if we're speakers, we understand each other. It's okay. So it's, she's, she's, she's saying goodbye to one of them. Let's yeah, see, let's see each, each other. other. Yeah, to each other, in, yeah. Okay. In the second picture, there's only two of them. So she's talking to one. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. I was still looking at the first let's picture. See each other. Uh -huh. Well, it's also, we doesn't know. that mean, it's like, we'll see each other, me and you, two people. We'll see each yeah. other. Yes. Uh -huh. It means each other. Yes. Yes. Yeah, the ah okay. is reciprocal, meaning each other. If you know the word reciprocal, like each other, that's that ah on there. Because po is to see. And puinan, puinan, let, let's see each other. Uh, the translation is not always, it's just like when you have subtitles in a movie, you know. Okay, so yeah. I scroll down, Ryan. I guess we can. Yes, yeah, Okay, the Lutamashu, and I'm going to divide it. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to ask, uh, Daman is going to read the first paragraph in Lutamashu. Okay, Lutamashu means grammar, or it means the language maker mashu is make ta is the and tamashu is the maker and lu is tongue or language lu lu is tongue or language which we also use in english like that okay so and demon tokuch rohina poina please read um. Just like when using pronouns in Tunica, how you say what is your name changes based on the gender of the person you are talking to. And if you are talking to one, two, or more people, in Tunica, to be named slash called is a verb. Also like in Spanish, me llamo. The basic form of the verb to be called is etisa. And the front of the word changes based on who or what is being named. The full set of forms for the verb itisa is given in the following chart. Okay, now I'm gonna divide these up. I have the first column will go to Melissa. And then the uh, second column will go to Lydia. And the third column will go to Raquel. Uh, so you have Luci Yoroni, Luci Ingras. So you have the uh, tunica, then you have Yoroni, Luci Yoroni, and then Luci Ingras, English. So the first column is Mel Melissa, and the second column is Lydia, and the third column is Raquel. So, so start reading it. Uh huh. Hmm. Okay. So first person singular, Atisa, I am called. Hmm. Uh, first person singular feminine, 
Hatisa. Okay, that's you, second person. Look, you second person there. I'm sorry. Do you see it? Second person, feminine. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's my fault. Yeah, that's okay. Second, that's okay. Second person, feminine. Hatisa, you feminine singular are called. Mm -hmm. Oh, not Se Second person, masculine. Watisa, you masculine singular are called. Mm -hmm. Third person, feminine. Tetisa. She is called third person masculine Otisa. He is called. Okay. And the next column will be Lydia. Okay. <laughs> Unlike English, we have dual in Tunica. We have two dual um, persons. First, first person dual Entisa, who we are called. Mm -hmm. Second person feminine dual Hentisa, you feminine are called. Um, second person masculine dual, uh, Wentisa, you masculine are called. Um, third person feminine dual, Sentisa, they feminine are called. Um, third person masculine dual, Ontisa, they masculine are called. Okay. Now, the next column that will be uh, Raquel, third, the plural. Plural. Entisa is first person. Uh, we are called. Mm -hmm. Hentisa is first person. You are called. Or second, yeah, the second person or is second. I, you. Uh -huh. Second person. Um, when Tisa would be masculine second person, you are called. Mm -hmm. Sen Tisa would be feminine uh, in third person, they are called. Mm -hmm. And Se Tisa would be fem uh, masculine third person, they are called. Now, the way you could do this, if you wanted to make yourself like flashcards, one side the tunic and one side the English, but we do it, we'll do these. This is not the first time nor the last time you'll see it. Um, this is a, like a paradigm. When I was teaching French and Spanish, of course, when I was speaking French at home or speaking Spanish, you know, nobody sat down and say, okay, da, 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 like we're doing right now. But this is to give you some order as a second language learner and you could take them and put them on flashcards to ma and make it like a little challenge for yourself. But the best thing is when we go to do the Hinu, the practice. And I think we have time for that. And I think that Ryan will tell us, be the timekeeper here too. So we need to scroll down. Okay, whoa. So the next so paragraph. 13 minutes. Um, how much? 13. Uh, 13. We choose 13. Okay. So I think we can read the, we're not gonna do the he news this time. I think we're gonna have Molly read the next paragraph. And then after Molly is Damon. Damon will be, I did, Damon, how did that, how did I end up with, okay, yes, I guess we went through the, yeah. Okay, so uh, Molly will be the like with pronouns. Like with pronouns, notice that the dual and the plural forms of etisa are the same everywhere, except the third person masculine, ontisa, they, masculine dual are called, versus setisa, they, masculine plural are called. You can also tell that these dual and plural forms are related to each other. The dual plural form is usually the singular form plus an extra n. For example, wetisa, you, masculine singular are called, becomes wentisa, you, masculine dural or plural are called. This is the case for all forms except the third person feminine where tetisa becomes sentisa. Notice that et works similarly. You saw in the Yana Lepini above that the first person plural form of et becomes enti the same way that etisa in the first person plural becomes entisa. I know it's a lot of words, but if you look back at your chart, and I think we're going to look back at the chart real quick, Ryan, like go back um, to see how things are similar. Okay, there, the, no, okay, up, 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 no, 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 the chart, uh, I'm sorry. 
after the Lutamashu, after Lutamashu, that chart. Okay, so you see how in the dual and plural, everything is the same. You have to know by the context or the number of people mentioned. You see, there is a difference in what forms, in what form or forms do you see a difference, not the same. Third person, masculine, plural. Right, the third person, masculine, plural, and the, uh, if you wanna say in the dual, do you notice, does everyone see what happens from the singular to the dual? What happens from the singular to the dual? dual? What happens, what There's happens? N. Right. Yeah, and N to the middle. Yeah. Right, exactly. And so that's why AT is my friend, but NT is our friends. When you say NT, I'm, this is for naming, but as far as the friends, oh my gosh, it's probably a telemarketer or political at this time, it shouldn't be. Okay. So Ryan, we're gonna go back to the Lutamashu and then we're gonna stop there and do the Hinu, pick up with the Hinu next time. Okay, so after that, I actually see Molly Red is Damon in the Yana Nipini, and we'll stop and go to our favorite, you know, uh, fun, uh, words, what we want to know. Okay, in the Yana Nipini. In the Yana, in the Yana Nipini, you saw that sometimes Itisa has an N at the end. This indicates that this is a question. For example, Ale Hichi, Tatisa is a statement. Her name is Alice. However, Alice Hichi Tetisan with an N makes it a question. Is her name Alice? This N is used to ask questions when the answer is going to be either home, yes, or aha, no. If the question is an information question, like questions with Kanaku, what, then you don't need an end because Kanaku already okay. tells you what is going to be a question. So it is correct to say Kanaku Watisa. What is your name? Masculine singular name without the end. So that's what I told you. We're going to end right there. We're going to pick up with the Hinus next time. But right now, Hache, Kanak, Luchi Yoroni, Ni, Hikwana, Wikwana. What do you want to say in Tunica? Now I have to remind you that these recordings are being, they're made public. So we have to watch. If you want to ask something, we have to be careful, you know, and um, I am an older person. And so <laughs> is taboo for me, may not be taboo for you. So uh, if you have a name you've chosen and Ryan's gonna be putting these on the whiteboard, and if you have a name you've chosen or you have something you want to be able to say, we're going to work that out right now. And we also have to be mindful of the uh, time because I have that meeting with Patricia for APS. We do with American Philosophical Society this evening too. I thought it was going on right now. <gasps> no, it's going to be after this class. Okay. Um, so we can, I guess, can you tell me what time it is, Ryan? How much many? How many minutes do we have? It, seven minutes, but I probably won't be able to make it. I gotta run and get groceries, okay. like okay. Walmart closes at some time. But right, okay. Oh, Lapu. So maybe we'll just um, we'll get a few we'll get a few of the ideas this time. Uh, maybe about three examples of things you want to know, and if we don't, I can probably. Translated for you next time. So things you want to say, if I could do it immediately, because I'll need to get on that call. We don't always have that meeting with the American Philosophical Society, but this evening I do. And so, um, okay. So who has something they want to say or want to be able to say in Tunica or a name, naming? We'll get How do you say like ginger, like, uh, like a redheaded person? How would you say that? Oh, red hair is alakashi. Well, it's it, is it a male or female? It's a female. But, okay, but, so you say her hair, red hair. Red yeah, hair. but how do you say like ginger? I think probably refers to like the root, I guess. Root. Yeah, yeah root. But root is Oscar. 
when we're describing somebody, we would we have to use the body part associated with it. So that would be hair, which would be mealy helicasha, helicashi. It's telakashi, her telakashi. It's, it's interesting because when someone is ginger, usually it's not just their hair. They also have uh, reddish freckles and yeah, yeah. Totally. spots, kera, kera spot. So the meal is going to be after the telakashi, her hair red. So it'd be telakashi, telakashi, Ryan. Uh, telakashi. I, I'm just trying to get my epsilon E. Okay. It's going to be a T, and Mili is going to be after, Telakashi. So the, the Kera, Kera is spotted, I mean freckles. There may be another word for freckle, but Kera is like spotted, spots. Yeah. And the root is actually a foot. You would use the word foot for a root. So we have story, but it's in Biloxi about the root, about the root candy. I was doing that the other night. So make medicine and can, candy and stuff from roots. Telakashi mili means her hair red. Telakashi mili, her hair red. Mili is red. Does um, Arani, A-R-A-N-I, does that mean I am? Okay, Arani is, it is, it, I think you want to, I'm gonna tell you, Arani is like, uh, I exist. Arani is I exist. And it's what it is, is um, that would be the see, woman, it'd be Arani. It's, it's weird because those are ex, call them existentials. Arani. And a man um, is always a lying position, and a man is sitting position. But Arani is like exist. I exist. Arani. Uh, I live, I exist. Hungry. <laughs> hungry. Oh, okay. I want to say I'm hungry. So you want to say ik yapa. Let's say ik yapa. I can take probably one more because I'm worried about I got to get on this other call. <laughs> I didn't want to leave y'all. I, I love doing what I'm doing. I do this all night, but I know y'all can't. I'm hungry. What about yeah. um, I am sleepy? Ik yapa. Okay, so let's see. It says, uh, I know we had that word tired. Is Rapu? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rapu is sleep. I want to sleep. Rapu ikwana means I want to sleep. Mm. Rapu ikwana. So we put it like that. Rapu ikwana. I want to sleep. Let's say I'm tired. Iktokoni. Okay, iktokoni. So it'd be no uh, no S in there. I'm tired. Uh, it has here, there's an S. Stock, stock? Yeah. That's weird. Because I would say tokoni. Okay, or you want to say, would she say, oh, lazy, okay. Stock, that is weird. Oh, huh. I'll have to check into that. Let's see, Um, what else did I tell you? Oh, I want to sleep, rapu ikwana. Rapu means sleep, I want. To sleep, to sleep, I want. Ikwana, I want to sleep. Okay, we might have to say latilapu because I know I have to get on this other call. Is it time, Ryan? Uh, we got two minutes. Two minutes, okay, one more. Got time for one more. Um, do we have a word for the rules, like the rules that you have to follow? Those like are like laws. laws. Like yeah. laws, like YOLU, YOLU is, uh, YOLU is written law, YOLU like a lawyer, YOLU, I think it's YOLU, I'm getting my, uh, okay, I'm gonna get in there, <clears throat> okay, YOLU is like laws, and I'm trying to find it though, it's, okay, I'm uh, it's YOLU, YOLU Yana Hina, yeah, written, uh-huh, written, Word, written word, Yoluyana Hina. Yoluyana Hina. So it's a written word. Yoluyana is your vocabulary, but written law. Uh -huh. Yoluyana Hina. Written law. Law book. Yoluyana Hina. And Hina, I told you, is actually to make yeah. a mark. 
because like my great grandfather in the courthouse over here in Marksville, when he got married, he couldn't write his name, but he put a mark. They put X. Oh yeah, your X, right. <laughs> yeah, the X, that's to make your mark. Uh -huh, Cause many of our ancestors, you know, uh, not their fault. They were, they had lots of wisdom. And, we just know, didn't have a written alphabet. <laughs> right, and formal education. So they made their mark and it was an X. Right, because you didn't really have to write your name when you're chopping wood and <laughs> right, making making uh, that's railroad ties, <laughs> yes. railroad ties. You're right, because that's what my great grandfather did. He made railroad ties, and they considered no occupation. That is not true. No. Ah, ah. Okay, I hate to let you go, but I have to, and I'm going to be sending your um, highlights because Ryan, we usually put the new. I, I, I you usually either mail me that, and then I'll put new like new words that we found and came up with and what we're going to be going over next time. When I send you highlights, I usually send it on a Saturday. Uh, I call it 17 plus highlights. So, latilapu, lapu, latilapu, latilapu, apuitin, apuitin. Everybody, I see everybody again. Apuitin, apuitin. Thank you, bye. Hita, take care, hita, hita.